this is a, a Bernie organizer who's talking about how he feels about what's going on here. And I think we've got it all bleeped and whatnot, but be prepared for that. Play it. 16. So if Trump gets reelected, what? Fucking cities burn. You didn't think that some of these, like, mega people could even be re educated? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we gotta try. I mean, like, so, like, in Nazi Germany, after the fall of the Nazi party, there was a ton of the populace that was fing Nazified. I mean, like, Germany had to spend billions of dollars re educating fing people to not be Nazis. We're probably gonna have to do the same thing here. And that's kind of what Bernie's like, whole fing, like, hey, free education for everybody, because we're gonna have to teach you not to be a fing Nazi. Now, they're going to say what they always will in this circumstance, which is that this Bernie Sanders field organizer is not representative of broader sentiment among Bernie supporters. But let's ask ourselves the question, is that really the case? Do you think that there are a lot of Bernie supporters, people that want Bernie Sanders to be the president of the United States, who believe the things that Bernie Sanders himself says about Donald Trump? That Donald Trump is a massive national security threat, that he's an authoritarian, that he's a traitor, that he's a Russian stooge, that he's a Russian asset. I think a lot of them do believe that. And this is where I start to sound a little bit more ominous, perhaps, than than I usually do. But I'm willing to take crazy people at their word. I, I think that true believers should be listened to when they're telling you what they really think. You should say, hold on a second. Maybe it's worth taking some notes here. They have been claiming for years that Donald Trump was a threat to the most sacred institutions of our republic. And this isn't, I I don't think anyone would deny that that has been going on. They'll say Donald Trump is a white nationalist. They'll say that he is a racist. They'll say that he is a, a national security threat, that he could have war break out with North Korea or with Iran at any moment. They say all of these things. And let's not forget, and I, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to unfairly paint the entire Bernie uh, supporter, because I have some friends who are Bernie supporters, actually, and I like them. There are very nice people who support Bernie Sanders. I'm not a a crazy person. But there's also this faction within Bernie bro world that is nuts. And they're some of the most ardent Bernie believers. And it should not just pass unnoticed or unmentioned that you know, while, we're, while we had the media lecturing us all the time about Trump, you know, saying, throw that bum out of here or whatever at the, at the different rallies he's had and how Trump was inspiring violence. I heard that. I, I, I remember that story so many times during the uh, general election in 2016 at, at CNN. I was on TV having to talk about this. I was like, guys, you know, he, he uses tough talk. He's not actually inspiring violence. It was a Bernie Sanders supporter, very clearly, openly, avowedly, who for reasons of health care, defense tried a mass assassination of specifically conservative members of Congress, notably wounding and almost killing Steve Scalise, trying to kill Senator Rand Paul, among many others, at that baseball field in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, Virginia. It was a, an attempted mass assassination of members of Congress from a Bernie Sanders supporter. Now, I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders supporters are all like this, of course, that's stupid and that's a straw man argument. But there are people who are Bernie supporters in positions of, of actual influence who really do think that Trump supporters perhaps need re-education of some kind. 